Hello once again, YouTube. This is Pillsy74 bringing you another game of Assassin's Creed Revelations. This time I'm once again playing Manhunt in Venice. Don't know why I play Manhunt in Venice all the time, but it just happens to be. Isn't it great when three people run together and they all trip over each other? That's exactly what happened there. Now it looks like some of them are in fast forward. Anyway, I changed my setup a little bit. I'm playing with Poison now. I'm, be I'm playing mostly with my Wanted set, which is... Uh, smoke and poison and um, with the seven streak instead of the three that's just kind of screwy I know it's him and I'm just I don't know why did I did this I just completely screwed up I had completely meant to just throw my smoke down get a nice solid hidden poison but ah well what can you do I uh, been playing a lot of team games lately and I noticed that a lot of people are using poison in team games now whether it's chest capture or um, Manhunt or Escort, actually. I've been using Poison and Escort since the beginning, but um, so a lot of people are using Poison now, and I was playing with a lot of them, especially in Chess Capture, that they were using Poison. And I found that um, if you're on a team that's not going to steal your Poison kills, you're actually, you know, you, you have a nice, good thing going with Poison. And I'm really starting this game really horribly. I think I have 100 points so far, and we're over a minute in. Anyway. So I decided to get a few more points. There's my target. And I said, okay, well, my guy's there. So I'm gonna, I was gonna hold off. So I didn't, and I threw my smoke, I poisoned him, and my teammate, thank God, does not kill him. You don't know how annoying it is to constantly, constantly, constantly have your poison kill stolen. That's what kept happening. You know, sometimes, yeah, it is by lower levels who don't know what the teardrop shape means. But it was, oh my god, so annoying. There I could have gone down to the acrobatic. Decided, you know what, screw it. By the time I do that, he'll probably see me run away. So once again, there's the group. There he is. He's right there. I know who he is. I might be able to focus him, but my two teammates were running right there. I didn't want to take any chances. You know, really, I want the kills. I want to get to my streak. I want, you know, to uh, be able to do things well and get a lot of points. And there's this guy. Don't know what he's doing. He seems to be. I don't know if he's there. It was really kind of an NPC-esque type walk. I um, wasn't sure, but didn't stick around. There's that guy. Also, that's a decoy. Not them anyway, but it's pretty obviously a decoy. You know, check your compass when someone's running right at you. If they're running right at you and your comp and the other one's there and the compass doesn't. You know, glow or not glow when it should and shouldn't. It's a decoy. Like I was gonna let go, but I saw my um, saw my teammate kill him. So I just I hung around, got the kick in the head, and got a 400 point uh, greater variety for it. So here I completely screw up. I have to admit he took a pretty good route to me. <laughs> just screw up and throw my smoke, you know, against one of the stalls and screw that. I don't like chasing people, and I'm. You know, and I, but I keep screwing him. Because he stops there. So you know what? And this is kind of stupid of me. I had line of sight, and I should have noticed that my compass was not glowing, uh, or was glowing. So I, I'm hanging out for incognito, but it was glowing right when I jumped on, and not, um, you know, not when I just saw that hay bale. So I really should have noticed that to begin with. I'm at five of seven though. There's another one. And this time I'm on Big Papa, who's, who has been there as far as I know. So he looks like he's not there, but he's got that little turnaround thing. So I said, screw it, and I run up. I wasn't sure if I could focus him. So it got the silent right before. But I, it looks like I probably could have. But once again, it's so nice to be on a team where your poison kills are being respected. And I just completed that level of the uh, Enduring Challenge. Oops. So I screw up there, and that screws up too, and there's another one over here, and I, it's got to be one of them too, and I screw up there too, and I get stunned. You know, I seem to be having, like, I had like a burst of three minutes where I did really well, and then the rest of the round has really been crap, and yet I'm still over 4,000 points, and I still end up with a fairly nice round. It, it's just really strange how... It, 
I don't know. I really don't know. It was just really odd. So here I'm just running. I see my, my teammates over there. He kills that one. Then the other one pops out. So I got to kill right at the last second. So I got almost 5,000 points in the first round, which is just weird because I felt like I completely screwed up that round. Yes, I had the two nice poison kills. But other than that, I felt like that round was a complete loss. I wasted a lot of time on one guy and I screwed up a few times and just found it really strange that I had scored almost 5,000 points. So here we spawn in and I'm trying to get them over to somewhere that you can't get, can't get roofed and I'm failing. So I say screw it and I just go in with them. So I figured I'd stay here until I start hearing whispers. And we're just sitting here. You figure, you know, it's been a small map. They're going to come at us pretty soon and hear the whispers. So I'm going to take a look around and see. Oh, there's one of the guys off to the right. So I'm going to come back, go around the hay bale. And he runs in and gets uh, killed. The only NPC in the bunch and gets stunned for his efforts. And then for some reason, they go after my teammate. So I get the uh, one, two, uh, triple stun. And I get the hell out of there because my abilities are gone. But I don't go too far, because my, my teammate is here, my other teammate, so you see him, he goes after my teammate, and I stun him. And then another one goes after my other teammate, and I stun him too, and unfortunately I stun the doctor, instead of almost getting a second streak. But right there, I had five stuns, some skate, you know, lore, I had almost 2,500 points right off the bat there. So I'm quite pleased with the beginning of this game, the beginning of the stun round, I should say. Once again, hear the whispers. Hello. And that's hilarious. He mutes and he goes for my teammate. Don't know what happened, but I hear two more. And I believe that we each get one. Oh no. I got triple. I'm sorry. I thought he got one also, but it turns out I got the other, another triple stun along with some escapes. I think, I, you know, I thought I would, should have gotten a multiple escape there because I thought that I'd been in chase with both of them, but it turns out I was wrong. So, more whispers. Hey, look who it is. So I have both my abilities. I say screw it. And I stick around. I try to stay to the outside of the stun range. And I stun him. And then the one that started chase with me is killing my teammate, so I stun him too. So I'm not sure where they are. And there they are. And I have both my abilities. So I say screw it. And I mute him. And I get the stun. And here's this guy. That's not my smoke. After he starts to chase with me. And I get the stun on him too. And then I leave. So I don't know what it was with these guys. They just kept running at us, and I just kept stunning them quite easily. So I just find a teammate who's over there, because I don't have any abilities, and I want to be able to uh, be with my teammates, unfortunately. Oh, I'm being chased now. And somehow I managed to get the stun on him too. I don't know what that was all about. But there are more. And... Ah. Oh. And I got shot. I was so pissed off when I got shot there. But I'm already over my high score for Manhunt. My high score is 10,380, I think. Something like that. I'm already beating it. And there's two minutes left. So while I was rather pissed off that I got stunned, when I checked the score, I was kind of amazed that I had already was already there. So this guy's pretty obviously a pursuer. NPCs don't walk like that. Here's some more. I'm trying to kind of bait them to chase me. Thank you for the stun. And unfortunately, this guy, if I hadn't had that dodge out of the smoke, I would have been able to get the triple stun again. But what can you do? Sometimes you have to dodge. So I got, my, got both abilities right back. You know, more than a minute left. Just again, you know, when I'm doing this, well, I'm going towards the skulls. I want to get stuns. And there's one of them right there. So I'm kind of chasing him. And I screw up here. Because they're, well, got one. And I go after this guy, who is not one of the pursuers. And then I get him. And the thank you for the priority being ground finish and not kill. Because I got my streak because of that. So I go around and I try to get more. And unfortunately, I can't. So 40 seconds left. I'm at 12.440. 
and I'm just ecstatic that I'm over 12K because I've never come close to that in this game mode before, whether on here or on, brother, on Brotherhood. And this is a good kill, I have to say. I saw him at the last second. There was no way I could have gotten out of the way there. He climbed up. I could not have gotten out of the way, so I gave him all the credit in the world for that kill. That was, that was a really good kill. I mean, obviously, I could have gone up, but I was trying to go around, sneak around, and try to get some more stuns. And now uh, 10 seconds left, not even, and no, that wasn't one. Then he saw me, and I didn't get a chance to stun him. Unfortunately, the dodge kicked in. And that's it. That is my best game of Manhunt I've ever played. New high score, 12,440. Just stun after stun after stun after stun, and that's really, really, really what you have to do in this mode. In the defensive round, I find you always score more, always. As always, you hear my scores, write the commentary, please comment, rate, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.